I'm going to do a big back to Eden garden next year and we've been working on that. I'm going to show you guys our process. I'm going to go over there and let's give you a tour. Our garden this year isn't very big. It's 6 by 12, but I think we're getting quite a bit of fruit out of it this year. Let's go ahead and show you what we got going on here. We got a row of purple string beans, green bush string beans, tomato plants, cucumbers. Most of these seeds are heirloom seeds from Baker Creek heirloom seeds. We've had really good luck with them so far. Keep it up, Baker Creek. So I got these hog panels hooped over and across and I'm growing my cucumbers up them. So we're gaining some vertical space there. Same with the tomatoes over here, using the hog panels as trellising for the tomato plants. And what I do is I just weave them when they're growing higher, weave them in and out throughout the hog panel. It's working really well. We got a bunch of tomatoes. No red ones yet, but we're doing good. Then over on this side, we got summer squash. Those are doing pretty good. We got some beets. Some more, another row of beets. And then we got a row of zucchinis. It's really not mulched this year, but we have plans to change that. We're going to do a big back to eating garden next year, and we've been working on that. I'm going to show you guys our process and how that's coming in a few minutes. So I'm going to go over there and let's give you a tour. I don't know if you guys can see our wood chip pile we've been blessed with this year. Their power company is cleaning up the power lines over by our house and I talked to the tree company. And so far they've been able to drop off. We got two loads here the other day, that's real fresh. I took some out. And then I believe over here we had three or four loads. We got at least five loads of wood chips this year. So what I've been doing is cleaning out the pig pen, dumping the manure in right here, helping that get started and inoculate it for next year. You guys really can't see it, but all over on this side, I dug a deep hole. When we butchered the chickens, I put all the entrails and feathers in here and all the blood. So that'll help inoculate and get this compost enriched with some good minerals and everything so so we're gonna let this pile sit throughout the winter i'm gonna be taking some for the animals for bedding and stuff like that so i can use it for the carbon diaper to hold all the urine and the manure without it escaping and then i'll go ahead and i'll dump it back in here so we're gonna let this sit throughout the winter we'll turn it when we can and i'll give you guys updates on that and how it's going so we should be able to make a pretty good size back to eating garden with it next year more than we won't just do one we'll do quite a few so at this property, we've been pretty blessed with all these. I'm gonna say we probably got at least 20 mature apple trees on the property. And they're loaded with apples this year. They're not all loaded, but there's quite a few of them that's loaded with apples. So we've been taking advantage of this at least twice a day. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how we've been taking advantage of the apple trees. So last year when we didn't have the animals, we were we had even more apples on these trees last year. And having just the apples falling from the trees was a nuisance. Here's another one. So this year, so last year I was really missing having animals. I didn't have any chickens or pigs and I was like, oh, I got all these apples and I got nothing to do with them. Right now they're more of a pain in the butt. So we got the pigs this year and we're taking advantage of all the apples already fallen on the ground walk around once in the morning in one area of the apple trees and at night I, I check out another section of apple trees and usually get around a quarter to three quarters of a bucket full of apples a day or two times a day I should say and we're taking advantage of the blessing with all these trees and we're getting free food for the pigs and they're loving it. Just kind of another thing that reinforces and reminds you that the creator knew what he was doing when he made everything. 
you get all these apples from these apple trees falling on the ground right around the same time that the pigs are getting ready to go to butcher. You figure this time of the year is the time of the year that most people do their pigs and start fattening them up pretty good. So we're getting a lot of abundance of apples falling on the ground. He knew what he was doing when he designed everything. He's given us free food to feed the pigs. Thank you. Well, we got about a third of a five gallon bucket full of apples. Now we're gonna go give them to the pigs. So we spent about five minutes getting free food for the pigs and they know what we're doing here. They're excited. They're thankful for the apples too. Another thing I've been doing is in here in the pig pen, you get all the wood chips. I've been bringing them in and dumping them. This was a fresh load the other night. The new chips, they just got me. I dumped two loads in here, two bucket loads. And in here, oh, I was probably almost 10 loads of chips from before. They're just mixing them up and they're just gonna compost it. They love it. Carbonous diaper for them. It holds the manure. And right now we're in here, we got a bunch of manure and dirt, and it doesn't smell at all. So, this is another way we're letting the pigs do work for us. We got all these wood chips, they're gonna help decompose a little bit faster for our back to eat and garden. So when the pigs are gone and we got them in the freezer, I'm gonna be able to come back in here, clear this up. This will be composted a lot better. It's gonna have manure all mixed in with it, so this is gonna be really good for our gardens next year. So actually what I'll probably do right here in this, this patch where the pig pen is, I'll level it off. I'll take these wood chips out. I'll put different wood chips over it, mulch with them, and I'll make this like a pumpkin patch. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll Give it see a thumbs up if you liked it. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. Thanks for watching.